Wow, thank you. What a crowd. Does everyone have a seat? Are we still short some seats? If not, well, or if you or are, tell one of the uh, old timers who did the uh, monitoring for us at the doors and we'll take care of chairs with him. We are the Sun City Harmonicoots. Thank you for coming. Full house. Isn't this beautiful? Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. How many of you have attended all four of our jamborees? Show of hands, please. Whoa, thank you for that. How many are first timers tonight? Whoa. Well, you know, we, the people you see on this stage, the harmonicoots, they are the music of my life, really. You know, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Ha, ha, ha. Watch, watch this. Woo! One, two, one, two. Thank you. You've heard of the harmonic cats. 30s and 40s, they did their thing, the trio. Well, here's our version of the harmonic cats theme song, Peg of My Heart. But here comes Mel Savory on chord, Robert Keeling on bass, and Enyo, our lead. Here is our harmonicoots trio.
Robert and your mail. Thanks again, guys. Beautiful. Here comes Terry, our golden throat. Terry Airily. Well, every night I look out out of my window. I'm gazing down the lonely avenue. Watching lovers holding hands and laughing. But I'm thinking about the things we used to do. So I'm thinking about things. I like a walk in the park, well, things. I like a kiss in the dark, well, things. I like a sailboat ride. How about the night you cried, well, things. Like a lover's vow, things that you don't do now. Heartaches are the friends I'm talking to. Well, I can hear the jukebox softly playing. And the music, dear, reminds me so of you. I'm not thinking just how much you love me, but I'm thinking about the things we used to do. Well, thinking about a thing, I like a walk in the park, well, thing. I like a kiss in the dark, well, thing. I like a sailboat ride. How about the night we cried, well, thing. Like a lover's vow, thing that we don't do now. Heartaches are the friends I'm talking to. Well, heartaches are the friends I'm talking to. Terry Airely, everybody. Isn't that beautiful? Better than Roger Whitaker, we think. <laughs> Here comes Enyo Kamara. You'll love this one. Hang on to your hat, Enyo. Beer barrel polka. And I wish you would help me on the second part by singing those beautiful words. <laughs>
Daniel Camaro, everybody. Here comes Marianne Chittick, our music director, to direct this song and a couple more a little later. Marianne played the trumpet in the Roseville Community Orchestra, so she learned how to draw notes to make notes instead of blowing all the time. Kind of difficult. Marianne Chittick. Thank you, Marianne, and the group. Here comes the youngster on our team. This is 92-year-old Ned Carmen, and Ned has learned 40 songs last year on the harmonica at half the age. Let's give it for Ned Carmen.
Carmen, everybody. Here comes the ladies. Yes, women do play the harmonica, as you'll soon see. Kesara, Sara, Marianne, and Kim, and Julie, and Marion, and Kathy. Who did I miss? And, and Ethel Nihe. Here they are. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> By the sounds of the last song, you kind of enjoyed singing. Sing along with this one as well. You'll recognize it. We just got back from Australia. It's not a great trip. Some of you were there. You heard that a lot, huh? Okay, beautiful. Here comes Joe Schuchman. Joe is one of the box boys. He built this box. You'll hear it kind of muffles the sound of the harmonica, and it's a beautiful tone. Joe's quite a craftsman. A number of people on the harmonica group have them. Here's Joe. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Joe Shukman. Oh. Joe Shukman, yes, isn't that good? Let's recognize our rhythm section. Over here on string bass is Elmer Nemeth. <laughs> Elmer, as you know, plays with New Tones and Friends every other Friday night or so on a restaurant bar. In the opposite time, the West Fifth Avenue or a band plays, and that drummer is Bruce Turley. <laughs> Guys are magnificent, it's kind of fun. You'll hear a little bit later, but Carver Sears is on violin. Carver. And Terry, of course, plays guitar here as well. Bruce is a fantastic guitar player. He's helped us a great deal in the last uh, year or so. It's been wonderful. Okay, here we go. Henry Cohn coming up now, tie a yellow ribbon, followed by Tom Stryker. We got some good news this week. Henry Cohn has been asked to go to China next November 1st and be a harmonica judge in their major harmonica event over there called Pacific Rim Harmonica Contest. <laughs> and to watch him, you heard him play, but to watch him improvise by having to pull the slide out. There's a spring that's supposed to pop it out, and he's having to push it in, then draw it out and push it in. Quite a good job. When we were back at SPA, the convention in Milwaukee last summer, we'll hear more about that in a minute, Henry was negotiating between a Chinese judge, a Supreme Court judge, and a Korean fellow, and here's Henry interpreting both directions. No wonder they want him to come to China. <laughs> Henry Phillips. It's my pleasure now to introduce to you Tom Stryker, the president of the International Harmonica Association named SPA. Stands for the Society for the Preservation and Advancement of Harmonica. We went to the conference last year in Milwaukee, and two years before that, Chuck Clark, who was selling tickets out there for us tonight, Chuck went to Denver, and the first one two years ago, just one of us went. Last year, we had eight of us there. This year, we're taking 20 members and spouses to the St. Louis Convention in St. Louis coming up August, about August 12 to 15. The gentleman behind this whole worldwide movement of harmonica is Tom Stryker, and we're really pleased you're here, Tom.
Thank you very much. We're not going to let Bud get away that easy, right? What Bud didn't tell you, that he successfully lobbied and put up a business plan to hold the National Convention of 2009 in where else but? Sacramento. So, we're really counting on the Sacramento bunch, the harmonica, the harmonica coots. And if you've never been to a spa convention in the United States, this is your chance because it is truly a great convention. World-class harmonica players, attendance runs about 450, and it's gonna be a great time. And harmonica coots name's gonna be all over it. <laughs> <Okay. clears throat> you guys like jazz? And thank you to Bruce, our great guitar player. He's here for Bruce. Thank you very much. And they thought for years that the harmonica was not a musical instrument. <laughs> yes, until the harmonica cats came along in the late 1930s and 40s. By the way, they made about $8,000 a month playing the trio. 
In those days, that's a lot of money. At any rate, they put music on the map with the harmonica, which is like a piano. It's a beautiful thing. It's got four octaves that Tom plays, the 64 it's called. It's a beautiful instrument, and you can do whatever you can do with it. It's just pretty exciting stuff. Okay, let's move right along now. Here's another group song, and then we'll get to Tom Winery in just a moment. We're going to start this, and Terry will finish it for us, okay? to do gigs we take Terry along we can just turn him loose and sit there and let him sing you know <laughs> Tom Winery please Tom Tom Winery is my harmonica teacher I will tell you I met him some time ago he is the musical instrument specialist at Skip's music and I've heard him play piano in fact Andrew and I went over one day to to Sierra College and Tom played for three hours over there with just a guitar and a string bass and played just Brazilian music, which kind of turned Enyo on. That's where he's from, obviously. <laughs> and Tom played that so well, and then one day he called me and he said, I'm going to be over at uh, Sierra College. And I thought, well, I love piano. I'll go watch. He said, no, I'm playing the harp. You're what? Playing the harp? Do you, do you know how to play that thing? Tom Wondery. being directed to this one. <laughs> I started playing harmonica when I was 21. And I remember making a promise to myself that someday people would be surprised that I played piano too. <laughs> I think it took about five years, maybe longer. Anyway, let's have some fun. A little tune called Sweet Georgia Brown. Thank you. 
Thank you. Tom Winnery, everybody. Tom Winnery. Isn't that beautiful? I was glad that you were here, Tom, to hear that because this is a local talent that I didn't know about four years ago, and I'm not sure you did. And it's just the kind of thing we want to do with this spa convention on the West Coast. We want to open it up to the West and bring some of the greatest people that the spa's never heard of, maybe, and do it here. The general consensus is with spa, you can't go beyond the Rockies to really do a conference. Oh, yeah? Wait till you get out here, huh? <laughs> By the way, when Tom played and then the other Tom played, Enyo and I made a, con a concession over here. We did it at the, the conference back in Milwaukee. Every time we heard something play so much better than we are, we said, we hate him. <laughs> we hate you, Tom. We hate you, Tom. A little change of pace now. We're gonna bring Elmer up with the string bass. Come up here, Charlie, and this is Charlie Hole. <laughs> Charlie is the leader of about four, six bands, something like that, a country western band, but he's got one called Easy Sounds. That's the name of his company. He also has the K Street Ramblers. He plays the clarinet on one side of his mouth and the, and the saxophone out the other. And I kept saying, why does he do that? And then one night he did it, and Elmer told us what he was doing. He harmonized with himself while he played it. <laughs> Charlie Hull, everybody. Pretty boys up there? Yeah. All right. 
Sing, 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 sing. Everybody start to sing. La di da, la di da. Now you're swinging with a swing. Sing, 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 sing. Everybody start to sing. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Now you're swinging with a swing. When that music goes around, everybody goes to town. Here is something you should know. Ho, ho, baby. Ho, ho, ho. Sing, 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 sing. Everybody start to sing. Heidi, hi. Heidi, hi. Now you're swinging with a swing. One more time for Elmer Nemeth and Bruce Turley. Whoa, okay. Here comes Chuck Giratana. Gonna change the pace a little bit back to harmonica. Yankee Doodle Medley. This is a change of pace. <laughs> Chuck, well done. I don't know that I could have followed that bunch and done anything like that. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Okay, it's time to have somebody from the panhandle. Here comes Ted Ball. And Ted's kind of a storyteller, a little bit of a guitar player, but hang on, here we go. You're going to love this guy. They won't let me play the harmonica. <laughs> It's true. Oh, thank you. I like to travel, especially foreign travel, but the way the world is and the airport security now, it's uh, I do all my foreign travel in Texas. <laughs> there's London, there's Paris, there's Jordan, there's Palestine, all in Texas. And you don't even need a passport until you get to that long fence on the south. Then you'll need one. And if you're like me, you like to drive, I go to Motel 6. They're easier to get in and out of than the airport.
Now, where am I going from there? And you don't even have to take your shoes off at Motel 6. And uh, the airport, when's the last time the airport left a light on for you? <laughs> Pretty good over there. Uh, I was raised in Earth, Texas. That's up in the panhandle, as Bud says. Boring, 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 and flat, flat, flat. And I was reading the other day, it was Motel 6 and the Guinness Bible, that I've got to go back there. Yes, it says in the Bible, unto earth you shall return. And that's where I came from, Earth, Texas, about 30 miles from Muleshoe. Down the road a piece, there's a little town called Sane. Now, I've never been in Sane before. I've been in therapy a couple of times. But you don't have to be insane to be insane. And, and those that are there, a few of them, they were driven there. <laughs> and a lot of us now in California from Texas, and there's a uh, few of us a long way from sane. And we got one guy in the White House, <laughs> but that's another story. I won't go there. Now, a lot of songs they sing down there in Texas, these are real songs, right out of Austin. I'm so miserable without you, it's almost like having you here. <laughs> if you won't leave me alone, I'll find someone who will. And I'll, I'll leave you with one more before I uh, do my little ditty up here. The oil used to be in Texas, but the dipsticks are still in D.C. Now this song is, uh, is a tearjerker, and I, or not a tearjerker, a nose wiper. So I got, I got to have my handkerchief out here just in case my nose starts running. It's called, My Nose Runneth. <laughs> you ask me if I love you and if my love is true. Well, if I were a rich man, here's what I'd do for you. I'd buy you a diamond ring and a new fur coat or two. If my nose was running bunny, I'd blow it all on you. <laughs> if my nose was running money, you'd have anything you pleased. Anytime you needed cash, all I'd have to do is sneeze. You'd win the lottery, honey, anytime I had the flu. If my nose was running money, I'd blow it all on you. <laughs> Not as good on this as I thought I was. <laughs> it's a booger of a problem called post-nasal drip. If my nose was running money, we'd all take a trip. If my nose was running money, I'd blow it all on you. I'd buy you a Cadillac and a new Mercedes too. I'd build you a mansion up on that mountain top. If my nose was running money, but honey, it's not. Okay, we got one more.
more song before we take a 10 minute break. When we do take a break, we've got some DVDs from last year, 2007 out there. They were $10 last year. They're on sale for five if you're interested. Alex Cherney, who will be on the second half, has a DVD or a CD out there. And you might be interested in that. If you're interested in this program on DVD, we're going to have these rain in about a month or so. So you can sign up by putting your name and phone number, and I'll call you, and you don't have to give us any money for that. But let me know if you're interested in getting the 2008 harmonica, uh, harmonica coots, rather, fourth jamboree. It'd be kind of fun. Here's our last song. We'll take a 10-minute break, and we'll get started right away afterwards. We've got another exciting half for you following our break, OK? We'll see you in about 10 minutes. Take a quick break, OK? This number won't be successful unless you all get involved. It's a, it's a simple song that we're going to sing. And um, it's called, If You're Happy and You Know It. And uh, the, the lyrics, is, a lot of you know this. Um, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And then, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Second verse, we do it again, you slap your knees. The third time through, you shout hooray. And then the final time through, you do all three. Clap, slap your knees, and shout hooray, OK? So let's see what we can do. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, slap your knees. If you're happy and you know it, slap your knees. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, slap your knees. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Let's hear it again for Marianne Chitty again. She's the one responsible for us to have the nuances of songs. You saw in There's a Tavern in the Town, that point, point, point. She works on the details, the real dynamics of our songs, and we're so pleased that she's doing that. Our next guest is Louise Downey. Come on up, Louise. <laughs> Louise began hula dancing in 1944. She danced for the Baker 
group in the Bay Area for years and years and years, and she still dances summers here, but here she is. And Jim, you're all set with the CD, I think, back there. Alex. Yep. Thank you, Louise Downey, everybody. Thank you one more time, Louise. This next young man is not a stranger to our jamboree. This is the fourth time he has appeared out of four. This is Alex Cherney. He came here as a 12-year-old. He just turned 16. He looks like he could be a pulling guard for the 49ers. I just felt his arms. He's been on the weights, I'm telling you right now. We're going to uh, give Jim a chance to get the CDs. Got it ready? OK. Uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about the nai. Nay, how do you pronounce it? It's actually a pan flute, which is like a pan pipe. Um, 22 tubes made from a very long time ago. This one's like over 40-something years old. <laughs> Who invited this kid? <laughs> Alex Cherney!
Wow, very good. Thank you, thank you for being here. Here comes Marianne again. You're going to like this next one as well. We're getting to, into the songs now that we really remember from a while back, more than 40 years ago. <laughs> Here comes our great players of Kathy and Henry Cohn. This is a fun number. Kathy plays lead and Henry plays the chord, which he just picked up a year ago and about six months later he's mastered this thing. It's an amazing thing what he's done. Here they come with Amour.
Good stuff. Now we're going to do a bit of New Orleans, I guess. Come on up, Steve. Steve Henry's a new member of our group. Here's Jambalaya. Henry, everybody. Steve Henry. Thank you. Woo. Next is Hank Van Vliet, Rum, Run, and Coca Cola. Rum. And the next one, Terra Tumba. Many years ago, 1940, 1847, rather, 1847, Sarah Shepard, a young slave in Tennessee, was rushing to the Cumberland River to drown herself. 
She had just learned that she had been sold to another plantation and into slavery in Mississippi, and she had to leave her small child behind. As rushing toward this river, an older woman, a wizened woman, said, Stop, wait! That child has great things to do on this earth. Don't let the sweet chariot of the Lord swing low. So Sarah didn't drown herself. She went back to her room, was traded into Mississippi, eventually wrote this next song. Thirty years later, little Ella, the child, one of the first successful classically trained black musicians in America, reunited with her mother. And they got a chance to live out the remaining years together. As we play this song, let, the, let your imagination roam to the single part of the harmonica to be the voice of Sarah Shepard. You know, you've heard it many times that any respectable Texas country western band has a fiddler, right? We do too. Here comes Carver Sears. Thank you. 
I, be I, I believe that song's been heard insane. <laughs> If it was, Ted would know. Thank you. Carver's Sears, thank you very much. That's beautiful. Now, you're in for a treat as well. Here's another one you're going to like. We're going to start it as a group. Try to remember. And this is one of the first times we've got Kathy to use her wonderful voice. She's going to finish the song for us. Marianne directing. Here's Sid Salinger, gonna do a little bit of Belafonte.
Okay, you've heard of the Blues Brothers, but we have the Box Brothers. Here comes Joe yeah. and Hank with their boxes. Be ready for this one. Jim, you're all set with the CD. This is Don Rogers' Sound of Music. for that is George Porter. George, are you here? Stand up, George. This is George over here. Thank you, George. 
Outstanding. Now we're in for some new kind of fun. This is Jeannie Nemeth. She sings with the New Tones and Friends every other Friday night or so, married to Elmer here. Jeannie was, for 25 years, a singer and then consultant entertainer on the Princess Cruise ships. And she's been around a long time doing some wonderful music. Here she is with Fever. Never know how much I love you Never know how much I care When you have your arms around me I got the fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me I fever when you hold me tight Fever Every morning Fever all through the night Sun lights up the daytime, the moon lights up the night. I light up when you call my name, cause I know you're gonna treat me right. You give me fever when you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight. Fever! Every morning, fever all through the night. Everybody's got the fever That is something you should know Fever isn't such a new thing Fever started long ago Hello, honey Now Romeo loved Juliet And Juliet, she felt the same when he put his arms around her, he said, Julie, baby, you're my flame. You give me fever. With thou kisses, fever when you're learning youth. Fever, I'm on fire. Fever, yay, I burn for soon. You got the fever yet, bud? Yeah. Burn it. Now Captain Smith and Pocahontas had a very mad affair. When her daddy tried to shoot him, she said, Daddy, Daddy, don't you dare, he gives me fever. With his kisses, fever when he holds me tight. Fever! I'm his missus, so Daddy better treat him right. Now you've listened to my story And this is the point that I have made Chicks will give you fever Be it Santa Grant or Fairy So give me fever When they kiss you Fever when you live and learn Fever Give makes you sizzle What a lovely way to burn what a lovely way to burn. What a lovely way to burn. Jeannie Nemeth, everybody, with Elmer on string bass. Bruce on guitar. Did you hear that great guitar work back there? One of the things we're working on with harmonic coots is to get some harmony going. So here comes our quartet to do America the Beautiful, John Feller, Marianne Chittick, Ethel Nihe, and Don Rogers. By the way, John Feller's wife, Darlene, is in the crowd. It's her birthday today. Let's give a round of applause for that.
Here's another one you can sing along with. We've just got a couple, three, we're all finished. Let's do this one. I'll begin it, the group will join me, and then you sing along when you feel up to it, okay? Jeannie back up. Sit back on. A little higher, Jim. Here comes Jeannie back up. Going to do God Bless America. And I know you want them to sing along with you on this one, do you not? Okay? God bless America Land that I love Stand beside her From the mountains to the prairies to the ocean, white with foam, God bless America, my home, sweet home, God bless America, my We have one more song to do, our closing song to finish up. But before I do that, I want to thank all of you for being here. We are kind of ambitious about this program, so we set the date for the next Jamboree, the 5th. It exactly a year from tonight will be May 19th, 2009. And then from that, we'll flow right into hosting the spa convention at the Radisson on 160 there in Sacramento. It's going to be a marvelous year for us. We're all excited about that. We've got to pay tribute now to the guest artists. But before we do, I'd like to once again thank our rhythm section, Elmer Bruce. <laughs> Carver and Terry on guitar. Thank you, guys. That's wonderful. OK. I want to thank the harmonicoots for all the work they put in. It takes a long time to get where we are, and it's only four years out, and we're, I think, making a pretty good sound. So I thank you. I'd like to take this opportunity to, uh, to thank our Harold Hill, Professor Harold Hill, Bud Gardner. <laughs> Ted and I go back 40-some years. He knows a lot about me. Okay. 
To honor these great people, we're going to close with our song, Oh, When the Coots Go Marching Out, so you join us as well. First of all, let's bring up Louise Hay, and th or Louise Hay, Louise Downey for her great hula work. Louise, come up. And again, let's hear it for Jeannie Nemeth over here. Jeannie! Okay, as I announce these great stars coming up, I'd like to have you each take a mic, if you will. And the first is Tom Stryker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a safe trip home. Thank you.